Hi Leo, this is your weekly oracle um, in the corner here. If you have any questions about um, your love life, um, there's going to be an oracle um, cards here to answer your question. Um, this will be the overall theme, what you need to watch out for. Um, your fortune cookie, angel guidance, and um, what you need to surrender. So let's start with um, what house this will be affected this week. Okay, house one, house five. House one is ruled by Aries and the self. Um, seven, relationships. So creativity, business partnership, and spontaneity. Okay, so um, I looked at... I needed clarifiers for the handcuffs and the wax seal. Um, if you guys are creators or um, if you guys are in acting, music, or anything that would really like thrust you into the spotlight, um, this week uh, that could be a possibility. Um, but something is gonna stop you here though. Um, it's going to be someone who's going to be overly possessive um, or someone that just has a, I don't know if it's a family member or someone that's close to you or it's just uh, like someone that's just like has issues that would hold you back from getting into the flow. Um, if this is an idea or it's your... Um, skills that would get you to this stage um i guess there's it's like different for everyone and for the wax seal here it's for um invitation the secret is shared sealing a deal and conclusions are reached um i feel like these are different levels to watch out for um in this week as well your divine feminine um you guys will be functioning in this energy for this week and with libra here it's uh, ruled by venus i guess um those are going to be more um it's activated i don't know what planets are transiting in those houses um anyway so um let's start with the handcuffs um, defend and determination um, like Leo uh, Scorpio is also a fixed sign which is a very possessive sign so I don't know if it's a Pisces that's gonna be determined to like take you down or like make you feel powerless and this will be the energy you guys are gonna be embodying with but with two fishes here, um, it looks like this is going to be a lot of money because uh, fish like represents money and abundance. So this person's really like, I don't know, like have a lot of, I don't know what kind of hate they have. Um, I don't know if it's just a person that's very jealous of your achievement or what you're about to achieve but once you pass this stage like everything would be in the flow um, but, and then um, with the wax seal an invitation a message or a text message message email um, will be coming through that or a secret is shared with you sealing a deal conclusions are reached if there's ever like something that's just um okay so i don't know if you guys are party planners or you guys are i'm actually getting um you guys are finding a location for your wedding or a birthday party like a big event you guys are planning um if that if you guys haven't found a place, you guys will be um, 
finding that place this week um, and signing the contracts that would be it or if you guys are gonna do a concert you guys will find um, a location to play in the second one is ice king boss entrepreneur detached um, I don't know if you guys dated an air sign or someone an emperor energy as well um, I have a feeling that either this is a business partnership or a romantic um, I think it's both or either or but yeah and lastly if you guys are gonna close um, a house you guys are gonna get it this week until the end of the month um, when is full moon you guys are gonna find the house by the full moon So these deals that are coming through, um, I'm being told that watch out for the contracts you guys are signing. Um, you guys could probably be signing your life away for a few years or something. There's going to be a clause there that you guys might not um, read. There's going to be something there that's going to be sketchy, so please um, use your intuition. Um, have another person look at it, um, especially like a lawyer, um, to have just a second opinion, okay? Um, so for work, career, business, Knight of Cups, creative, persuasive charm, leads with a heart. Nine of Swords, Insomnia, Victim Mentality, Clouded Judgment, Seven of Swords, Shady Dealings, Criminal Behavior, Suspicious Activities. Okay, so there's someone here, I think with the handcuffs, that's gonna put you in your head, sleepless nights, so please watch out for that. Um, the deal here I don't know if it's with the ice king or it's attached with a home that could be very suspicious or like shady like just don't like with the handcuffs there you guys could be like you don't know what you're um, if you're renting a house uh, and it's like half off like you don't know and they're like oh let me just use the garage for work or as an office and you don't know what's happening in the garage please please check because it could be um, like I don't know like with a lot of money here like la money laundering or um, like drugs even so just watch out okay watch your back so for um, the fortune cookie love love is in the air a great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level so if you guys are dating for a while um, and it's looking good the person looks like it's gonna take it to another level so I don't know where the home you guys are probably gonna move in with the with a person um, declutter declutter your life let go of correspondence objects and people you no longer want someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid so since you guys are an up and up um it's best to declutter everything that's in your life that would pose a blockage to your goals um you don't need to be distracted Opportunities an important offer will be made be prepared and dress to impress Okay, These look really good. So again, just watch out. So if there's something that you guys really want This week could be manifested um, all the way until the full moon Security to feel more secure deepen your connection with nature 
so with a lot of happenings here in your business life slash personal um try to um decompress and try to just walk like around uh, where the trees are grass just to kind of feel grounded in a sense um, I know that's kind of tough when you're working all the time but just try to find time even if it's like 10 minutes easy does it stop trying so hard to control everything and the doors will open for you love life the basis of your question involves your romantic life which is now changing for the better again with the love so let's look at your I Ching. Abundance. You are nurtured, protected, and guided by one of the most powerful deities in Taoism. The time has come to harvest and all you have sown. Continue to follow the path that is yours alone and you are assured of abundant success. So please, if you guys are having second thoughts of pursuing whatever this is, whatever career, um, creative endeavor, please don't stop. I know like right in the middle it could get really daunting you're tired maybe um, but the rewards are almost there balance create a balance between what you desire and what you can accomplish abandon abandon prejudice and ego to see other perspectives of your situation find harmony in the things material and spiritual be at peace with the world as it is now it can be a big blessing in disguise and what you need to surrender surrender your addictions whether you're addicted to substances food sex or overworking take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives yes overworking is an addiction <laughs> Surrender the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. Surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen, then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. And for those, um, for the romance, if there was a, do you have any? Let me get these out. Oh my gosh. Okay. Temptation. Think carefully about the situation. Okay, wait. So it said here your love life is taking to the next level. And it, here it says changing for the better here it's ice cream okay you guys are gonna be approached by someone that would really steer you off your path um, to think about that properly if it's worth risking what you have right now and what the future could bring um, I don't think gambling with your love life at the moment would serve you um, for the better, but that's up to you, you know? Love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, and affection, attraction. Okay. Karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. So if this is an ex or someone you just had a, uh, someone you dated or had like a physical thing um, and you're already in a relationship, this person might pop out of the woodwork. So just watch out. So it could be, it could have been your first true love. <laughs> I don't know. Um, five could be of significance, fifth house as well. So um, maybe it's another Leo. First love, first true love, not calling you, 91 and 10, 5, 5, 10, okay, there's potential but needs work, and then another 10, that's so weird, 10, 10, 10, 
Um, I don't know if you guys are going to be seeing a lot of 1010 or this love life will manifest within 10 days, 20 days, 30 days. Because there's three tens here. Um, I don't know if you guys are seeing a lot of 111 or 101010, 10, 10, but please look at those. Um, if you guys see those signs anywhere, that means you're on the right path. Um, so please just watch out for the handcuffs and the business deals here with a temptation and karmic relationship. Um, Seven of Swords, of course. Uh, please just um, take heed, okay? Have a great week. Thank you.